Hey guys, this is Mario from shockingfit.com here and I'm in the center of Seville at Plaza España. Pretty awesome place. You can see behind me a lot of uh, cool things to see, a lot of tourists as well. And a uh, pretty famous place, actually one of the top uh, attractions here in the city. And the big idea I want to talk about today is two different ways we can respond to a stressful situation. And I found this extremely important and something that changed my life. Uh, in just the last few days uh, since I adopted this idea which is essentially inspired by a book called The Upside of Stress by Kelly McDonagall. She's a very famous author. She wrote a book called The Willpower Instinct which is one of my favorite books of all time. It teaches you basically how willpower works, how you have a finite amount of willpower and how to manage your willpower. Highly, highly recommend it as well. I'm going to leave both of these in the description below so you can check them out. And the big idea I wanted to share with you guys is simply how we can respond to stress in two different ways. So the first way to respond to a stressful situation is think of it as a, as a threat, right? as something negative, as something that is harmful to your system. And the second way to respond to a stressful situation is view it as a challenge. right? And just by thinking of it in a different way, it completely changes your performance, like mental, physical, your health, your longevity. Pretty much all things in your life will be impacted by the way you view stress. And what happens if you view stress as threat? Well, it's not very uncommon to find, for example, in let's say Olympic Games, uh, you probably watched, and then you see a, an athlete who has tens of thousands of hours of practice simply choke up. Because in that situation, I mean, she defines stress as like a situation where you care about things, and that's an amazing definition, probably the best definition I ever heard of. So that athlete, he finds himself in a situation where he cares about something. So he cares about the outcome, he cares about his performance, he cares about he's representing his country, he's representing his, his skills, and that stress just, he views it, if he views it as a, as a threat, bam, what happens, he's going to choke up. It's called choking up in sport performance. And his performance is going to revert back to like a level of a simple of a newbie, right? And that's why we sometimes don't understand, like, how the fuck does this guy miss uh, like a clear shot sometimes? You know, you see like a uh, NBA player like who has amazing season and he just misses a couple of shots like out of nowhere because nobody can explain why his performance is so bad. Well, in that situation, he simply responded to the stress as the stress was, was a threat, right? And it kind of blocked his mind. He couldn't perform. He couldn't get into that flow state. And this is very important for the gym as well. If you go to the gym and if you think of yourself, oh, shit, I had a bad day. I have all these things to do. There's like a lot of pressure on me right now. You probably won't be able to put out your maximum performance. And I noticed this on myself as well. I mean, I hit plateaus, uh, simply a mindset plateau. My body was ready to lift heavy, but my, my, my mind wasn't, right? So this is something to really keep an eye on. But the good side of this is that you can actually change your mindset and start viewing stress as a challenge, as a challenge situation where you can display your full ability. So imagine that same athlete in the Olympic Games, he just, I don't know, put some water on his head, like just snaps out of it. He's he, like, he talks to some like coach or something like that. And he just tells him, hey man, this is a, this is a chance for you. This is a chance for you. It's a challenge. We know it's hard. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be damn hard. But this is a chance for you to, to show who you really are, who, to show how tough you are. And, and even in like a lot of movies, you, you'll find this uh, theme kind of uh, go around a little bit where like there's a hero's journey, maybe a Rocky movie or something like that, where the guy is just like, fuck, I can do this, right? And he just starts viewing the situation as a challenge, and that kind of brings the best out of him. And you probably experienced this in one way or another. Maybe you studied for a math test and you, you felt like you were under stress, but you also felt like that stress was helping you. And that is when you view it as a helpful thing, you can actually get a lot of benefits from that experience of like being under pressure because it will put the best that you have. It's gonna extract the best you have. You will do some things that you didn't even know yourself that you're capable of. And often happens to me, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna have a very shitty workout. I feel like, okay, shit, this day is just started in a very wrong way, right? On a wrong foot, right? Say like, we woke up on the wrong foot. But what happens is that I say, okay, shit, this is a challenge now. So let's see how good can I do 
in this situation? Let's see how good can I perform given these circumstances. What happens is that a lot of the times on these specifically on these days, I break my PRs. I break I lift the most weight I ever lifted or I do a couple of extra reps where I didn't expect that to happen. And I probably perform better on these days then on my best days when I feel good, when I feel like everything is just going my way, everything is awesome. And it's kind of fascinating how that stress can bring the best out of me. And I'm sure it can bring the best out of you if you simply shift your mind a little bit toward that uh, viewing the situation as a challenge. So that's just a quick big idea that I wanted to share with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the scenery here. Pretty, pretty beautiful day. I'm quite happy to be away from a computer screen. Spent a couple of days uh, awake until like 4, 5 a.m. in the morning editing videos for you guys, especially those gym videos. They're quite tough to edit and put together. And I'm quite happy with the way the channel is growing. I, I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me, all the awesome comments. I love to hear what you guys think. Same for this topic. Leave it in the comments below if you find this helpful. And what do you think about stress? As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click subscribe below to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.